Oh my god, I cannot tell you how many girls have totally freaked out when it came time to walk down the aisle. You don't really think about it beforehand, but this is totally a public speaking gig. You are getting up there and you are spilling your heart in front of like 100, maybe 200, maybe even more. Um, so yeah, that is a lot of people and you are going to be talking in front of them. <laughs> And if you're not prepared, you can totally wreck your wedding ceremony. But don't worry, girl, I got you. Hey, hey, bridal beauties. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kyle James, and today we are talking about wedding day stage fright. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you hadn't really thought about this, and I all of a sudden just made you like super anxious, but it's definitely something that we need to talk about. Stick with me here because I promise it's so much better to tackle this now than to have it sneak up on you on your wedding day. So if you're a little anxious about standing up in front of everyone on your wedding day, uh, give this video a thumbs up and let's kick those nerves. Really quick before we get into that video, I wanted to let you girls know that I am now accepting applications for the Unveiled Bride Society for our 2021 featured brides. I am personally handpicking 12 brides to plan their 2021 weddings with me. We'll have weekly virtual coffee dates with me and the other Bride Society members where we'll walk through the entire planning process together. I'll be there to brainstorm with you, answer all of your planning questions, and to help you really create your dream day. Your planning process and your wedding will be featured here on my channel to help and inspire thousands of other brides throughout their planning processes. If you're interested, you can apply at the link below. My 2022 session isn't open for applications yet, but you can join the interest list so that you are the first to know when I start accepting applications for that. Um, that's all going to be at the link below. Also be sure to join my private Bride to Bride Facebook group, The Bride Tribe, so that you can all bounce ideas off each other and help each other out throughout your planning process. I will link that below as well. Now let's get into the video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my 10 tips for letting go of that wedding day stage fright so that you can actually be present and enjoy your wedding ceremony. So my first tip you're already doing if you got this far in the video, and that is to start thinking about it now. The more you try to like push this away and ignore it and just be like, I'll deal with it when the time comes, uh, the worse it's gonna be. So starting to like think about this now and starting to kind of picture how it's gonna go in your mind will help you out a ton. My next tip for coping with your wedding day stage fright is to let those nerves come up. So if you get like nervous or anxious when you're starting to think about standing up in front of everyone and walking down that aisle, um, just let it come up. Don't try to like push it down. I think naturally we try to push those feelings down and we push them down and push them down for like a year and then it comes time to walk down the aisle and guess what? All of those feelings come up all at once <laughs> and then you're like a hot mess express. So every time they come up, just notice them and just really feel into them and let them happen. Uh, let that nervous energy get out of your system. This is extremely important like on your actual wedding day. Every time you get nervous, just let it come out so that you're not storing that energy in your body so it doesn't all come up like right when it's time to walk down the aisle. My third tip is to breathe. Oh my gosh. You have to remember to breathe. <laughs> so when we're like super nervous or anxious about something, we tend to breathe very shallow and very fast. And this kind of tells our body to release more of those hormones that make you stressed and anxious and nervous. Um, so if you take a moment and just take a really deep breath all the way down into your belly, <sighs> Every time you feel nervous, especially on your wedding day and especially right before you walk down the aisle, um, this will tell your body that it's okay and it will help you to calm down. The more you hold your breath, the more stressed and anxious you're going to feel. So just slow your breath down, take some moments to take some nice deep breaths um, and this will get you present as well. My next tip for coping with your wedding ceremony sage fright is to not 
drink it away. Do not try to drink away your stage fright. This is a horrible idea and you will drink way too much and you may not be nervous when you go down that aisle, but you will still be a hot mess. Um, so just be very conscious of how much you're drinking while you're getting ready and stuff. Um, because if you're like really throwing back those cocktails, you're not going to even remember your wedding ceremony. And that's what you came for. <laughs> um, this is the most important part and you really want to be as present as possible so that you can really enjoy the experience and be in the moment with your partner. So many brides are like just throwing back those mimosas, trying to calm their nerves on the big day. And you might not even notice that you're doing it. Um, but just be very conscious of how much you're drinking before you walk down the aisle. My next tip for you is to start walking down that aisle only when you're ready. Um, sometimes you can be like in a rush, trying to be on time and all that stuff. Um, and you feel like you just have to go or even if you like get a huge rush of nerves after like everyone else has already walked down the aisle and it's your turn you can totally just stop and take a moment to take a deep breath um, this is your moment and you don't want to like just rush into it if you need those extra few deep breaths before you walk down the aisle to like get centered and um, get into the moment then totally take those it will definitely be worth it to you in the end um, and if they already start playing your song, they can totally restart the song. Don't worry about all of these external factors. The most important thing is that you are like ready and that you're present for this moment because it's like the biggest moment of your life so far. It's not something that you want to rush. <laughs> My next tip to help you cope with that wedding day stage fright is to remember why you're doing this. Remember why you're here. Every time you start feeling super nervous, whether you're a year out or you're a day away or you're about to walk down the aisle, every time you feel those nerves come up, just remember like who's waiting for you at the end of that aisle. Let those feelings of gratitude come up that all of these people who love you so much are so excited to be here and celebrate your big day with you. And there is someone waiting for you at the end of that aisle to spend the rest of your life together who loves you so much. One of my favorite secrets to life, pretty much, is that you can't feel grateful and afraid at the same time. Fear and gratitude like cannot be in your brain at the same time. So if you are feeling nervous or anxious or scared, the best and fastest way to kick that is to start doing your gratefuls. <laughs> and it's so easy to do, especially when you're about to walk down the aisle because you can just look out and just see everything that you're grateful for. Um, and just be grateful that you are there and that you have the resources to be able to throw such a beautiful party and that there's so many people right there that love you so much. Um, you have a lot to be grateful for. And so use this as a tool to help kick your nerves. All right, tip number seven for kicking that wedding day stage fright is to feel the feels. Um, I feel like so many brides are like trying not to cry all day. They're trying to like control their emotions and stuff. And that makes it so much worse. Like when you're like shoving things down and you're just not present. This is like the biggest day of your life so far. So let it all come up. Laugh when you want to laugh. Cry when you want to cry. Um, it's your day. Just feel the whole range of emotions because it's so beautiful. Um, there's just so much emotion that comes up. And if you're just so worried about not crying or something, you're going to miss your big day. My next tip for you is to write your vows out in advance and read through them a couple times. So many couples wait until like literally the last moment. And I think it's probably because they are actually nervous about giving a speech. Um, but so many couples wait until the very last moment to get their vows down. If you write your vows out and you read through them a couple of times before you're up at the altar, you're a lot less likely to get like all stumbly over your words and completely forget what you were trying to say um, even if you are super nervous you know that you've like read through them multiple times so you actually know what you're trying to say uh, this is super helpful my next tip for you is to not worry about falling or messing up um, even if you do fall or you completely stumble over your words or say the wrong thing it's actually completely endearing <laughs> um, it actually makes for like a great moment in the wedding 
that people can like laugh with you and love you and relate to you instead of everything being like so perfect and robotic um we're all human and this is like a big deal and there's just so much emotion going on so just kind of let it all happen if you fall on your face when you're walking down the aisle that would be a really funny memory later it's totally fine and the more that you like worry about these things and the more that you think about them and visualize them the more likely they are to happen <laughs> and you don't want to spend your entire wedding day and your wedding ceremony just worrying about like falling or saying something silly when you're saying your vows um, because then you're not thinking about what's actually happening. You're not present on your wedding day and it will go by so fast. It goes by so fast no matter what, whether you're present or not. Um, but if you're thinking about things that are like out of your control, then you're completely missing all of the juiciness that is your wedding day. So focus on being present, focus on being with your girls and getting ready, focus on um, that amazing person that's standing at the end of the aisle waiting for you. Um, this kind of goes back to your gratefuls as well, but instead of focusing on negative things that could happen, focus on all of the amazing things that are happening right now. And then my last tip for you is definitely the best, and that is to have a private wedding ceremony with just you and your partner before the actual wedding ceremony in front of all of your friends and family. Um, you can do it after as well, but taking the time to have this private ceremony and to share your private vows will allow you to completely not think about everyone like staring at you or messing up or any of that stuff and it will you'll just be able to be 100% present with your lover and actually share a moment where you're sharing your wedding vows. All of the couples who have done this have actually said that this has been like the most special part of their day. So especially if you're like worried about talking in front of people and stuff like that, this is an amazing way to make sure you really, really get that special moment with your partner on your wedding day. And then you can do the regular wedding ceremony part, like just the part where you're repeating after someone. That's easy to do. You can totally do that in front of your family and friends. So I hope these tips were helpful. I hope you feel a little bit better about walking down that aisle. If they were helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to share this with your other bride friends. Also make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and we'll see you next time. Happy planning!